Hello, everyone. This is Tyler Duncan. I'm Tyler Duncan. <laughs> Baritone extraordinaire who is here with us at the OBF Festival in Eugene, Oregon. And you just did St. Mark? St. Matthew? St. Mark's Passion. Mark's. Completed by Matthew Halls. Good so time. we call it Matthew's Passion. Nice. Or at least somebody did. <laughs> it seems apropos. Wasn't my joke. <laughs> I also forgot to tell you that this man is the funniest man that I know. No joke. Only on Facebook. What has changed? Um, it's amazing because you're responsible for somebody else's life and they are completely dependent upon you. I think my responsibility level has raised uh, quite a bit and you know, I, you hope, it, you hope. <laughs> and you know, I'm still quite immature in my dealings with uh, certain parts of my life, but um, I think it adds a new focus and it, in the career of singing it certainly adds a, a huge focus and it makes me miss home a lot more, a lot more. I bet. Yeah. How, how long have you been away? Like what's your longest time you've been away so far? The longest time I've been away so far, he's only five months old and the longest time I've been away is a month. That's and that hard. That was a lot. And this little stretch is three weeks. I think I've basically missed 20% of my child's life right now. Yes. <laughs> Sorry. Too bad, but that's really common. I mean, it is. Were, you, were you lucky enough to be there for... Uh, I was there birth? for the birth. Nice. I was, it was very funny. I was covering at the Met and uh, the baby decided to come when I had a three-day chunk of nice. nothing. So He was like, is dad off now? Yes, yeah, go. Yeah, it was time. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, oh, it was very funny. Yay. He's so happy. He's so cute. And it's so lovely. And I miss him so much. But you know what, we decided that I wasn't going to cancel any gigs for this because we, you know, definitely need the... You need the, income. The, you need income. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And at the time, um, she's working... My wife is a, Erica Switzer, fantastic pianist. That was my second question. She works at Bard College in the music department and she uh, has won all sorts of awards for playing for singers mm -hmm. and stuff. And uh, we thought that she wasn't going to get maternity leave at all because we are now residents of the United States, which yeah. I love. Thanks for the green card. <laughs> Dude, you're like going through my, like... Uh-oh. Okay, <laughs> ask another okay. question. So my second question was about you and your wife um, both being musicians. Now you collaborate a lot, but do you find it better to be with a musician or do you butt heads a little bit? Yes, it is amazing to be with a musician as... No, we... <laughs> We get along so well. She's my best friend. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, hands down. Sometimes in the practice room, things get a little heated up. Um, mostly because I am such a perfectionist that I get angry at myself <laughs> of course, yeah. for sucking. And of course, when you're learning new rep and you're doing hard stuff, you suck a lot. And then you suck less. And then when you don't suck at all, I, we'll see. That has never happened yet. <laughs> I don't think anybody so, has ever you made know, pure perfection. We've butted heads. And, and when you're in a relationship, you don't filter when you're in a rehearsal process. So yeah. I've said things like, this is one of my best ones that I, my, the gem I said to her is, I said, could you do just, just could you play this part again, but like be musical? Oh, <laughs> mit talent. Yeah. <laughs> so that was not good. And there have been storming away, walking out of the room from both of us. Mm -hmm. But that being said, there is not anyone else in this world that musically knows me better and who is who could be a better partner than her on the stage and off. Mm -hmm. So that's awesome. Everybody wants that, right? Yep. <laughs> and I got okay. it. So my other question was about you moving from Canada. Um, how bad was the paperwork and all that situation? Oh, it was fun. <laughs> I recommend it. <laughs> um, let's see. Uh, so when we moved to the United States, Erica was doing her doctorate at Juilliard and I got a J 
two visa, which means I was the uh, dependent of the J-1, which was okay. her visa, and it allowed me to work anytime, anywhere, any place. It was amazing. That's awesome. Yeah, and then when she finished school, I just got various work permits, mm -hmm. um, and those are very, oh, they're not difficult to get, but it takes a long time. Yeah. But luckily I had enough projects that I could have a two-year visa, and so that worked out. Um, and then I went and started going through the um, Artists of Exceptional Ability <laughs> visa, green card, <laughs> which, oh my goodness, it's it's so much work. I bet. Uh, the stuff you have to compile. And, you know, the worst and most time-consuming part of it is getting, you have to get at least 10 letters of recommendation from famous people basically oh my like from well-known people who are respected in our business and they have to write you a recommendation letter that's not just Tyler is a wonderful singer right. and we enjoy it. it's this is how I know this person this is why I think that they are amazing this is why they should be given the green card and this is why I am amazing and I am capable of saying this so you can't exactly go up to after doing a job with a conductor going would you please <laughs> yeah I'm awesome. Yeah. Please let me. But do this. Yeah. I was very lucky and had some amazing and very very fa famous well-known people write me letters because he is exceptional. So don't let him fool you. I'm amazing <laughs> and modest. <laughs> the most humble person I have ever met in my entire life. It's truly yeah amazing. Everyone who's watching this has probably heard of me. I'm sure. <laughs> Well, if not, they will have now. Yes. All 12 of my subscribers. So you're good. You're on your way, sir. We are quite a team. <laughs> this is just a yes or no question. Will there be a zombie apocalypse? Yes. Um... And I am prepared. <laughs>